Mate, Nielsen, head coach of the Spurs this week. How's the week treated you so far? Because it was very hectic early on, obviously. Very hectic. Uh, no, it's been a lot of fun. We were in Sacramento before at the California Classic, so I had a bit of a rhythm before we got here. And when the big fella joined us here, yeah, it was it, there was a lot of attention and stuff like that, but it was a bit of fun, and uh, the guys have worked all the way through it. Have you ever seen anything like the first few days here in Vegas especially? No, funnily enough, I was with Zion. I was around when Zion had his, and obviously there was a fair amount of interest in that, but a big fella probably took it to another level. Australian contingent on the Spurs staff doesn't just end with you, Fleur McIntyre, Adam Ford, and he's apparently carrying your bags all week. Yeah, well, that's not true. I've been, I, I look after my own bags and, and, and don't need him. But no, it's been great having him around. We've got some other guest coaches, so they, they've fitted in really well. And uh, really, to be honest, the only issue was when Fordy was announcing himself as the reigning coach of the year. Uh, that was a bit awkward. I had to tell him to stop that. But apart from that, we've been good. I can't imagine saying that too loud around uh, Greg Popovich. No, he's practically the only person he didn't say it to was Pop, but everyone else had to hear it. So, yeah, he's stopped that now. He actually told me that he's the only person ever who's made Greg Popovich take a photo of you uh, during practice. I actually think that's a fact. It's yep. not good. Now, from here, you go, obviously, to, to the Boomers preparation. There's a lot of Boomers camp members around. Brian Gorgian's around. We know Capes is here. Must be fun one to catch up with them, but this is a very exciting squad. Very much so, and I think that's the funny part of it for me is that, like, I mean, do what Reef kicked our butt the other day and Xavier played well and things like that. So you're happy to see him playing well and then just, obviously, look forward to getting on the same court with him in a few weeks. Overall, the NBL, we see the way it's grown in recent weeks. And, oh, here he goes. Here he comes. No, I knew he was no, coming. No, I knew he was coming. Uh, overall, the way the NBL, I mean, we look every single year, just the connections continue to grow, the Australian connections in the NBA. You must be proud to look at how far one the league has come, but Australian basketball. Very much so, and it, it, it's the league as well. I think it has represented itself very well, uh, and, and being over here now for a while and, and, and hearing how people perceive it is, is a really good thing for Australian basketball, and uh, they should be proud. It's weird that more people in Vegas know that Adam Ford's going to be the coach of the year. I don't think he does that in Cairns. <laughs> yeah, no, probably fair, but it's done okay here. Thanks, Coach. Good luck in the Boomers as well. Appreciate it. Thanks, mate.